So Darren, lovely to catch up again. Now, the last session, tell me all about that. What's it about? It's, um, it's the most excited I've, I've been about a project for a long time, you know? I know you're supposed to say that. Um, um, you know, when you're doing promotion for it, but it, genuinely, it's uh, I, I haven't want, I didn't, you know, when I read the script and listened to the score, I just fell in love with it. I really did genuinely fall in love with this piece, and uh, it is about um, it's about a, a gay singer songwriter who was a big star, and um, he um, finds out he's HIV positive, and uh, so this guy is dying of AIDS, and he decides that he's had enough of the suffering. You know, he's, uh, he's, the, the medication isn't working, and this is this is back in the 90s. You know, there's this, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. the, the, when the medication wasn't available as it is now, um, and he decides he's going to take his own life, but he wants to record. Uh, he wants to do one last session in the studio, and almost record a goodbye letter, but in mm. an album form for his um, for his longtime companion partner, and. Uh, it's a wonderful piece, you know, when you hear about what it's about, you think, oh my God, it's doom and gloom, but it, it's not, it's kind of, it's sort of really like a black comedy in some respects. It's very, very witty, very witty script. Um, wonderful score. I mean, the music, you know, music and the lyrics are just incredible. Steve Shacklin, who's written the music and lyrics, who was diagnosed as HIV positive himself back in the 90s and came, you know, very close to departing. Yeah. Um, our, our earth and uh, yeah he um, it's, it's wonderful and it's um it's very different to anything I've ever done before it's uh, it's not musical theater type music it's it's a bit of rock and roll some beautiful ballads you know it's um talks at your heartstrings but, um, but I was shocked to read when I was looking at your CV which is extensive but you were you can't uh, be shocked to read anything about no no I was actually because I didn't realize you were an opportunity <laughs> knows I yeah, didn't see oh, that. Did but when you think that. about that mm. today, you know, when, when you say to younger people, that was ma that show was massive, you know, as big as X Factor, if not bigger at the time. It was probably the Britain's Got Talent of its time. Yeah, really. and, and it was yeah. your only way to get seen. Yes. You know, because um, but you were seen really by uh, a far bigger audience because there was no, you know, Sky Channel's free view or whatever. You tuned in and you, everybody sat and watched it, didn't they? Yeah, and then, yeah. You know, so when you'd done that, did you kind of think, oh, you're young, you've arrived, sort of thing. Yeah, no, I thought, I, I think, I, yeah, I suppose <laughs> I did really. I mean, I, 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 you know, I just went and we did, I did the first episode. It was where, it was when Bob Monkhouse had taken yeah. over. So he was a legend as well. Oh, uh, but you know, I mean, I loved working with Bob, and I have to say, I got the 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 honour of him writing for me because I won the, I only had one act. <laughs> three-minute act that I got together to do the first show and I won it. So then you used to come back the following week and I'm like, well, I, I haven't got anything else to do. I had other impressions because I started off as an impressionist. That's what I, what I did in the early days. And uh, so Bob sat in a, in, a, in a green room in BBC Centre with me and a guy called John Junkin. I don't know if you oh, remember yeah, John yeah, Junkin, yeah, yeah. but John, well, he was a performer himself, then he was a writer. Yeah. But I got to sit with Bob Mankhouse at about 18 years old, you know, and John Junkin, and they wrote me an act for the following week. And when I look back on it now, I think what a privilege it was to sit and... You're just relieved when you're 18. Oh, well, yeah, I was, yeah, I was just I was working, thank yeah. you. Know, but, um, and, then, and then we did the final, you know, and the final was live, Saturday night television, you know, three minutes and uh, looking back on it now it, you know it was it was really really yeah. stressful um, and now you know and now most shows are like that yeah but for, for its time it was quite unique at the time you know to, to do that to do this like I want to know yeah the Joseph dream cult did you keep yours no, but I'll tell you who did. Because this, and I've always, because they make it obviously for you, don't they? Because everybody's slightly different. Yeah. And I was kind of thinking, well, okay, you know, Jason Donovan, we can just say, yeah, Jason Donovan, Tommy kept his. Yeah, well, Phil, I, Phil kept his as well. Yeah, but I was thinking, when would you wear that? <laughs> you know, well, like, I know. Exactly I mean, like it is a great, Phil has his, 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 his big glass yeah. case. It looks fantastic. And it is a, it's a work, you know, it is a work it of is, art. Yeah, you know? they're heavy. Very heavy, you yeah. know, um, and all handmade. Yeah, maybe one of my regrets <laughs> that I was a little bit too straight at the time Honest. to have. Yeah, I think now I'd have it. It'd be on eBay, <laughs> love. <laughs> yeah. It would be either eBay or on my wall. But So, where can we see the last session? Okay, we're at the Tristan Bates Theatre in Covent Garden, which is in the Actors Centre in Covent Garden. Um, we open on the 25th of September, and this particular run runs until the 27th of October. Um, and uh, I, I really, you know, 
It, it is a fantastic new piece, and I, I you know, just come and see it. Yeah, come and see it. It's, Don't it, be shy. It, just yeah, but it is a, a great piece, and you will have a fantastic night. And it's a proper, a real roller coaster of emotions that you go through. I would imagine as the audience member, because we're going through them as as the, the guys and girls who are, who are performing it. But you will have a great night. Darren, look out for me filling up in the front row. A pleasure <laughs> as ever. Oh, it's great to see you. <laughs> great to see you.